Hello, my name is Adolfo Neto, and I'm here to show you how to try Lean on your browser. Let me share my screen. Okay, so here I have the browser, and I'm going to type live.lean-lang.org, and I'm going to define a function. Let's wait a little bit. It's taking more time than I expect. Okay, let me waiting for the link server to start. Okay, now it's ready. So if I type here evolve three in the right side, it shows. Let me okay increase the font here. Shows the three, and if I type here check three. It checks that three is a natural number. So let me define a function. Define um, factorial. Oops, factorial is a function that receives as input an integer number and that returns an integer number. The definition for the defining this function, I'm going to use pattern matching match n with if the input is zero oh i need to put this if the input is zero i return one if the input is one i return one and if the input is n i return n multiplied by factorial i believe i don't need that factorial of n minus one. Okay, but you see there's a, an error message here, fail to show termination for factorial. And that's because Lin checks if the function terminates. There are ways to ignore that. So I'm just going to use this way here. So decreasing by sorry, I'm saying, okay, I know that you are not able to check that it terminates, but I know that it's going to terminate, so trust me. And if I put now evolve factorial of 10, then the factorial of 10 is this number here, 3628800, evolve factorial, of 100 it's this very large number i can also define a new value a value and i don't know if in lean you use this way or this way i'm going to use this a value it's an integer number and it's one, two, three. You see that the same syntax that you use for defining a function, you define a variable. And finally, I'm going to evolve factorial of a value. And the result is this very, very large number. Okay, so that's it. If you want to learn more about Lean, you can read this book let me click here okay the book is functional programming in lean by dave train christiansen and if you want to learn how to install lean on vs code there is this video a quick tour of the link for visual visual studio code extension it's very good to use lean with visual studio code because it installs you you have first of course if you haven't you have to install Vis visual studio code and then use install the link for extension and then it installs link for you and you can use it just like that but in your own computer okay so that's it thank you very much bye bye